Hi guys, welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. So, ang topic natin sa video na ito ay tungkol sa shear and moment diagrams in beams. Okay? So, bakit napakahalaga na alam natin i-drawing or i-sketch yung shear and moment diagrams? Okay, kasi napaka-essential ng critical values ng shear and moment pagdating natin sa higher subjects specifically sa mga design subjects like RCD and steel design also sa timber design no? okay so ang isang kalaban ng isang civil, uh, common civil engineering student ay paano i-drawing yung shear and moment diagram minsan nagagawa nila yung shear diagram may close nila but na main problem is hindi nila alam kung paano i-close yung moment diagram okay so let's say for example we have here a simply supported beam okay with an arbitrary loading okay weight as a function of x okay so kapag nagpas tayo ng cutting plane dito let's say at section AA Okay, syempre from statics, dapat alam natin yung pag ng reaction, no? So, at section AA, Okay, so ito yun, no? Magre-react yung section doon, okay? Namely, those, uh, those internal forces are shear and moment. So, yan po yung sign convention natin ng positive shear pababa kapag ang kinonsider mo na cutting plane or section is sa kaliwa ng cutting plane and counterclockwise moment naman kapag pas uh, counterclockwise moment is positive again kapag nagcut ka from or consider mo yung left portion ng cutting plane okay so meron dito ang arbitrary shear diagram okay kung mapapansin natin dito, napakahalaga kasi na itong point na to. Kaya ang tawag dito ay point of zero shear. Okay? Kasi dyan mo makikita yung maximum moment. So in this case, kasi from positive shear to negative shear, so meron tayong maximum positive moment. Pero kung kabaliktaran naman from negative to positive, maximum negative moment naman yun guys no? okay so punta tayo sa mga examples okay so ito yung ating first example na we have a simply supported beam okay of length L with a, uni a, with, sorry, a, a concentrated load P located at the mid span so kung mapapansin ninyo merong L over to rito tsaka L over to rito Okay, so by statics, dapat alam natin yung reaction dito. Dapat ano to guys? This is P over 2 and this is also what? P over 2. Since equidistant yung concentrated load dun sa uh, sports. Okay, so if you notice meron tayong dalawang cutting plane dito. Let's say section AA and section BB. Okay, bakit kailangan dalawa sir? Kasi meron tayong abrupt change sa loading dito. Ito yung point, uh, ating point C, no? Merong concentrated load na P applied at point C dun sa mid-span. Therefore, magkaiba yung mag uh, mapuproduce natin na shear equation tsaka moment, uh, shear and moment equation sa span na to tsaka span na ito. Okay. So, I already prepared dito sa ilalim yung dalawang cross section na yan okay so ilagay natin yung reaction dito no, sa point A so, this is P over 2 okay dito na rin sa section BB no? parehas lang naman yan okay so how do we construct or how do we formulate the shear equation okay so basically again ito yung sign convention natin ng positive shear and moment Okay, so what is the shear equation? Okay, so by summation of forces 
along y axis equal to 0 okay let's say this is the x axis and this is the y axis okay just take note that the distance of the cutting plane from the leftmost portion usually from the leftmost portion is always equal to x okay so let's shoot let's us assume downward forces is positive so we have what v minus p over 2 equal to 0 so eventually v is equal to what p over 2 okay so ito yung ating shear equation at section aa okay just take note guys that this is just applicable itong shear equation na to if x is between 0 and l over 2 mamaya babalikan naman natin yung dun sa taas okay and how do we formulate the moment equation so by summing up moments at point o let's say ito yung point o equal to 0 and assume counterclockwise rotation is positive okay so we have what m k itong p over 2 times moment arm na x is clockwise so minus minus p over 2 times x okay, any other else? wala na kita natin sa 0 and then transposing to the other side we have m is equal to 1 p over 2 times x okay, so this is our moment equation what did you notice dito sa dalawang equation na to? Okay, this is a constant, which is p over 2, and this is an equation of a line, okay, with a slope of p over 2. So, mamaya natin malalaman yung sketch nyo yan, na. Okay, again, this is true for the values of x between 0 and r, 0 and l over 2 inclusive, no? Okay, punta tayo rito sa section bb. Okay, so just like what we did here, so, summation of forces along y-axis equal to 0. Assume downward forces is positive. Okay, so what is this? We have V minus P over 2 plus P equal to 0. So, V is equal to what? Or yung share equation natin na equal saan? Okay, we have negative P over 2 plus P. This is P over 2. Paglipat sa kabila magiging negative p over 2. So, take note, this is negative p over 2. Yan po yung shear equation given that okay, the value of x is l over 2 to l inclusive. Okay? So, dalawa yung shear doon sa point na yun. Pag ginamit mo to, tsaka pag ginamit mo ito. Okay? For the moments, a mission of moment at point O equal to 0. Assume counterclockwise rotation is positive. So we have M. Okay. Or rather, wait, wait na. So this is X while this is L over 2. Sorry po, no? Okay. So we have minus P over 2 times X. Okay. Yung P, ang rotation niya counterclockwise, so positive plus p times the quantity okay if this is x and this is l over 2 okay this is x minus l over 2 so this is x minus l over 2 equal to 0 so before we transpose the other side we simplify na natin so we have m minus p over 2x plus px minus pl over 2 equal to 0 okay and what is m okay dito px minus p over 2x is p over 2x pag lipat sa kabila magiging positive or rather negative na si 1 minus 1 half is 1 half pag lipat sa kabila negative 1 half so negative p over 2 x ito magiging positive plus pl over 2 okay so this is our moment equation for okay, section BB okay so, i-substitute natin yung mga kailangan natin na points break tayo sa taas just take note of these equations okay 
So, at A, at point A na, that is what? X equals 0. So, what is V? V is P over 2, and M is equal to what? Okay? P over 2 times X, which is 0. So, this is 0. Okay? So, at point C, where X is equal to L over 2, Okay. So, what is V? We have P over 2. Okay. And we have what? P over 2 times L over 2 is equal to what? P L over 4. Okay. Ito, ginamit natin yung equation gamit yung section AA. Pero pag ginamit mo yung equation sa section BB, ibalikan lang natin dito. Ito yun. So, lumalabas, yung V din, or yung shear, ay ano? Negative P over 2, and moment is equal to what? Negative P over 2 times L over 2, which is X, no? Yung value na X, plus P L over 2. So, this is 1 half, magiging negative 1 fourth ito. So, 1 half minus 1 fourth is 1 fourth. So, this is PL over 4. So, parehas lang itong dalawang ito. Ito lang ang magkaiba. Okay? And, at point B, whereas the value of X is equal to L. Okay. So, the value of shear is equal to what? Negative P over 2. And, the value of the moment is equal to what? Negative P over 2 L plus PL over 2. Okay, so para sa itong PL over 2, negative yung isa, positive yung isa, so this is 0. Okay, so ilagay natin yung mga points na to dito sa tunay pwede natin na share moment line. Okay? So, x equals a, uh, x equals 0 at point a, the shear is P over 2. So somewhere dito yon, no? Okay, hanggang L over 2. Dito. Mayroon kang P over 2 dito. Pero at all at x equals L over 2 also, ano kung negative P over 2? Okay, so banda rito 'yon. Tantayin lang naman natin. Negative P over 2 dito. Also at B, shear is P over 2, negative P over 2 rather. So it is negative P over 2. Okay? And then let us connect the dots. Okay? Okay. So, ito po yung ating magiging shear diagram. Okay? Palamuti lang naman yung shading na yun. So, kahit wala yan, okay lang. Okay? So, for the moment diagram, sabi ko ano, Kanina may nakuha tayong equation ng line dito. Balikan lang natin na. Ang saglit. This P over 2x. Ito naman negative P over 2x plus P over 2. Para sa equation ng line. So, ito yung ating mga coordinates or mga points na kailangan. When x equals 0, moment is 0. When x equals L over 2, our moment is P L over 4. Somehow dito yon P L over 4. And then, when x equals L, moment is zero. So, ito po yung ating magiging moment diagram. Okay? So, ganyan po, no? So, napakahalaga na alam natin kung paano i-apply yung principle ng geometry dito. Kasi, yun yung magilig sa atin dito sa pag uh, sketch ng shear ng moment diagram. No? Okay? Okay. So, for our next example, meron naman tayong simply supported beam with a uniformly distributed load all throughout the span. Okay. So, syempre from statics, dapat alam natin kung paano yung pagkuha ng reaction dito. So, kung may resultant, this W times L 
And then, syempre, direct rectangular yung loading or rectangular shape ng loading, equidistant yan from the supports, just like yung example number 1, so this WL over 2 is WL over 2. So, ito rin yun. Okay. So, since continuous naman yung loading, okay, we do not need to cut it at a var at various sections. So, kahit isa lang, pwede na. Okay. So, just bear in mind kung nasaan yung resultant. Okay. So, magiging resultant neto, since ito ay distance x, kasi yun yung distance niya from point A. So, this is W x. At distance x over 2 from point O. Let's say ito yung point O na. Okay. So, by summation of forces along y-axis equal to 0. Okay. Assume downward forces is positive. So, we have V. Okay. Minus WL over 2 plus WX equal to 0. So, transposing, we have V is equal to what? Negative WX plus WL over 2. Wait lang, hindi na pala kita, no? Ayan. So, ito po yung ating shear equation. Okay. So, for the moment diagram, or, sorry, for the moment equation, okay, summation of moment about point O, equal to 0, assume counterclockwise rotation is positive. Okay. So, we have what? M. Okay, clockwise yung rotation ito. Negative WL over 2 times moment arm na X. Okay. Plus. Okay, yung WX dito. Counterclockwise siya. So, that is WX times moment arm na X over 2 equal to 0. So, transposing and simplifying, we have what? Negative W over 2 x squared plus WL over 2 times x. Okay? So, itong dalawang to yung ating magiging okay? Shear equation and moment equation respectively. Okay? So, if you notice, this is an equation of a line with a slope of negative W and Y intercept na WL over 2 and this is an equation of a parabola opening downward. Okay, since the coefficient of x squared is negative w over 2. Okay. So, tignan natin na baka meron tong tinatawag na point of zero shear. Check natin. Ito natin isolve, no? Sa point of zero shear, Okay. Ang value ng V dito ay 0. So, tingnan natin. Isa lang naman yung shear equation natin. So, 0 is equal to what? Negative WX plus WL over 2. Okay, lipat mo to rito. So, WX is equal to what? WL over 2. So, cancel yung W. So, lumalabas. X is equal to what? L over 2. Ibig sabihin meron kang dapat makukuha na moment kapag ang value ng x ay L over 2. So, let us solve for the value of the moment if the value of x is L over 2. So, gamitin natin yung equation na nandito sa kabila. Okay? So, we have negative W over 2 times L over 2 squared plus WL over 2 times L over 2. Okay, so saan equal ito? Okay, so this L squared over 4 times negative 1 half, negative WL squared over 8. Okay, ito naman, WL squared over 4. So, 1 fourth minus 1 eight is 1 over 8. So, this WL squared over 8. So, nandun yung maximum moment at x equals L over 2, which is WL squared over 8. Okay? So, 
sketch muna natin yung share, equation, share diagram natin, no? So, at x is equal to 0, okay? Or if x equal 0, then what is the shear at point A, which is at uh, x equal 0? Negative W times 0 plus WL over 2 or simply WL over 2. Okay? For the moment, isabay na natin. We have negative W over 2 times 0 squared plus WL over 2 times 0 or this is equal to 0. Okay. At x equals L, so what is the value of shear? Negative W times x na equal sa L plus WL over 2. So, negative WL plus WL over 2 will become negative WL over 2. Okay? And, moment is equal to what? Negative W over 2 Okay, Z, uh, times L squared plus WL over 2 times L. So, this uh, this is negative WL square over 2. Ito naman WL square over 2. So, this is still 0. Okay, so balik tayo rin sa taas. Okay, so dito at x equal 0, the value of shear is WL over 2. Somehow, dito yon At x equals L. Negative WL over 2. So, dito banda yun. Just take note that at X equals L over 2, ito yun, no? The value of shear is 0. So, dito banda yun, syempre. Okay? And then, connect the dots. Okay? Take note that this is an equation of a line. Yan. Okay? So, line yung magdudugtong dun sa dalawa. Okay, and this is our shear diagram. Okay, how about the moment diagram? x equals 0, moment 0, x equals L, moment 0, and when x equals L over 2, ito yung nakuha natin, we have WL square over 8. So, tutok natin dito. So, WL square over Okay, so this will be connected using a parabola kasi nga ito yung equation dito. It is an equation of parabola opening downward. Okay. So ito po yung ating moment diagram. Okay. Lagi lang natin ng second degree. Dito. Okay, to indicate that this is a second degree curve. Okay? So, yan po yung ating moment diagram. No? At yan yung W square over 8 na yan, tsaka WL over 2. Gamit na gamit yan hanggang pagdating yun ng higher gear yun nyo actually. Okay? So, uh, proceed tayo sa next example. Okay. Sa pangatlong example natin, meron naman tayong simply supported beam. Okay? That carries a varying load linearly from 0 at point A to an intensity W at point B. So, linearly increasing siya. Okay, since continuous naman yung loading, okay, walang abrupt change, no? Kasi, banayad lang naman yung, ano yan, linearly increasing naman, there's no need to cut it into several cutting planes. So, isa lang, pwede na. Okay. So, we're going to pass through section AA dito, but before we proceed dun sa pagkuha ng shear and moment equation, dapat alam natin yung reaction. Okay? So, just recall sa statics, okay, ang resultant nito ay ano? Area ng triangle. So, W, L over 2. Okay? And this is at distance, okay, one third from the base. So, kung ang length natin ay L, so, this is L over 3. Para sa lahat ng triangle. Yan na, triangular loading. And, ang technique ko rito, para makuha ka agad yung reaction, is that, this resultant will be divided by 3. Ito yung reaction dito. 
Okay, so kung i-divide natin yan ng 3, this will become WL over 6. And then, ito, times 2 mo, ito na kaagad yung reaction sa kabila. So, times 2 mo to, so this WL over 3. Okay? So, yan po yung shortcut natin dyan, guys. No? So, you can actually explore it by means of, okay, summation of moment, either point A or point B. Okay? So, lagay natin dito yung WL over 6. Okay. So, again, the distance of the cutting plane from the leftmost point is equal, uh, is equal to X. No? And this is a convention of positive shear and moment. The question is, ano yung intensity ng load dito? Hindi natin alam yan. So, we will call this as Y. Okay, but we need to solve for the value of Y in terms of X. Okay? So, dahil itong triangle na to ay galing din naman dito. Okay, actually, ito yon. Okay, ito yung X. Okay, so actually, we can use here similar triangles. Okay, so that is uh, a concept geometry. So, hindi ko na masyadong i-elaborate. So, we have y over x is equal to what? w over l. Okay, this is by means of similar triangles. Okay, so y is equal to what? w over l times x. Okay? Bakit mahalaga yan, sir? Kasi yung resultant po nito is 1 half xy or xy over 2 at distance x over 3 from point O. Okay? So, if you are going to formulate okay, the shear equation, so, summation of forces along y-axis equal to 0, assume downward is positive, so v minus Okay, WL over 6 kasi pataas. And then plus XY over 2 equal to 0. But nakuha na natin yung Y as WL over L times X. So by transposition, we have what? V equals what? Negative XY over 2. But this is Y. So this is X over 2 times Y na W over L times x plus wl over 6 so simplifying and rearranging we have what okay negative w over 2l times x squared plus wl over 6 okay so this will uh, uh, this is our shear equation okay so for the moment equation okay by summing up moment at point O again equal to 0 okay assume counterclockwise rotation is positive so we have M minus WL over 6 times moment arm na X plus XY over 2 times moment arm na X over 3 equal to 0 so M is equal to what? Negative x squared y over 6, but uh, over 6 no, times y in which the value of y is w over l times x. And then sa taas, no? Mm, plus w l over 6 times x. And simplify lang natin ng konti. So, m moment is equal to what? Negative W over 6L times X cubed plus WL over 6 times X. Okay, so this is our moment equation. Okay. So, let us substitute the values. Okay. At X is equal to 0. What is the value of shear? Gamitin natin to. Okay? Negative W over 2L times 0 squared plus WL over 
6. So, this is WL over 6. Okay, for the moment, although obvious naman to, nasa baba yung equation, negative W over 6L times 0 cube plus WL over 6 times 0 will be equal to 0. Okay. So, at x is equal to L, okay, what is the value of shear? Negative W over 2L times L squared plus WL over 6. Okay, so magka-cancel yung isang L dito. So, V is equal to what? Negative W L over 2 plus W L over 6. So, negative 1 half plus 1 over 6 is negative 1 third. So, negative W L over 3. Okay? And for the moment, negative W over 6 L times L cube okay, plus W L over 6 times L. This is W L squared over 6. Kasi magka-cancel yung isang L. Ito naman, W L squared over 6. Negative nga lang to. So, this is also 0. Okay. So, what did you notice? Okay. From WL over 6. Ito, no? Naging do negative WL over 3. Dito. Ibig sabihin, sure tayo na datama yan sa or tumama yan sa 0 at some point dun sa shear diagram natin dun sa taas. Okay. So, meron tong point of 0 shear. So, solve for point of 0 shear. Okay, whereas V equals 0. So, 0 is equal to what? Negative W over 2L X squared plus WL over 6. Transpose natin. W over 2L X squared is equal to WL over 6. Cancel yung W. Okay, cross multiply 2L. So, x squared is equal to L squared over 3. Okay, this means that x is equal to what? Square root of L over 3. Okay, so if you want to have the exact value of this. Okay, so I'm not sure, no? Around 0.59 ata, no? So, plus minus yan, no? But we are dealing with, okay, positive sense. Kasi, pagdating dito, positive yung values ng x natin, no? Okay. So, pwede mo pa siya i-simplify as this, no? Multiply natin ng square root of 3 over square root of 3 so that this will become 1. Consider na lang natin yung positive. So, we have square root of ah, sorry. Square root of L square over 3, no? Okay. So, we have what? Square root of 3 over 3 times L. Okay? So, I think 1.73 to ito, divided by 3. So, yun na. Around 0.59 ata kung di ako nagkakamali. No? Okay, so, when we substitute it dito sa equation na to, okay, so, at x equals square root of 3 over 3 L, ano yung makukuha natin? M is equal to what? Negative W over 6L times square root of 3 over 3 L, the quantity cubed, plus WL over 6 times square root of 3 over 3 times L. Okay, so further algebraic manipulation will be equal to what? Okay, magiging equal to sa... Wait lang, kuha lang ako ng calculator na... Okay. So, kung di ako nagkakamali, uh, uh, roughly, this is 0 0.06415 WL square. I'm not sure, no? Pero I think, yun, yun, yun nga talaga yun, no? Okay. Okay, check na lang, guys, no? Pakisubstitute na lang. So, break tayo rito. Okay, yung shear equation natin, equation ng parabola. So, Ito, WL over 6. Ito, negative WL over 3. So, 
Ito yun, no? Ito yung WL over 6. Ito yung negative WL over 3. Then, i-connect natin by means of a parabola. Opening downward. Okay? So, yun nga. Tatama nga talaga siya ron sa 0. Okay, ito yung nakuha natin na square root of 3 over 3 times L. Okay? Ibig sabihin, nandyan yung maximum moment. Okay? Na 0.06415 WL squared. Okay? And this is our moment diagram. Okay? Just take note, dito naman sa baba, yung moment diagram natin ay third degree function. So, lalagay lang natin to ng third degree dito. Whereas, ito naman, second degree kasi parabola siya. Okay? And then, close lang natin. Then, this is our shear and moment diagram. Okay? Ayan po na. Okay. So, ito pong quantity na to, actually, et, et, kakakuha ko lang, no? This equal to WL square square root of 3 over 27 para po sa mga gusto ng sakto yung square root of 3 over 27 ay equal dun sa nakuha natin na 0.06415 kanina okay so we are going to proceed to our last example okay and for our last example Okay, meron na tayong mga numerical values. Okay, so we have here a cantilever beam. Okay, so ang cantilever beam naman, supported lang siya dun sa isang dulo lang or one end lang, no? Therefore, it will carry or it will have a reaction. Okay, vertical reaction tsaka ng moment. Okay? So, let us solve first for the reaction. Okay? Meron dito yung first 3 meters it is linearly decreasing from 3 kN per meter to 2 kN per meter and then for the next 3 meters constant na siyang 2 kN per meter okay so what we are going to do here para mas madali yung pagkuha ng reaction is ubuin na lang natin yung rectangle dito sa ilalim hanggang din may may iwan na triangular part dun sa taas so kung 3 ito at 2 ito may matitirang 1 kN per meter dito. Okay? So, ito may resultant to na ano? 2 times 6 which is 12 kN. Hindi ko na masyadong i-elaborate ito no? kasi statics naman ito. Okay, ito naman okay, 1 half times 3 times 1 that is 1.5 kN. Therefore, meron tayong 13.5 kN dito. Okay, on the other hand, yung moment naman, 12 times 3, 36 na kagad yon Then, 1.5 times 1 third ng 3, ng 1 is 1.5. So, meron tayong moment na 37.5 kN meter dito sa support. Okay? So, ganyan po kunin yung reaction. Okay. So, dahil meron tayong abrupt change sa loading dito sa bandang gitna niya or sa, actually, sa gitna niya, no? Meron tayong dalawang section. We have section AA and section BB. But, different from the first three examples, yung cutting plane natin ngayon, ang consider natin is yung right portion. Okay? Kasi mas convenient na mag-cut sa right portion. Kaya hindi ibig sabihin na, okay, yung mga past examples, kaliwa yung ginamit natin, palaging kaliwa. Dito naman, take advantage to use the right portion okay so at section AA just bear in mind that if you are going to pass through a cutting plane here okay yung x distance ay palaging dun sa point A which means if this is x okay if this is x then yung kabila ay 3 plus 3 which is 6 minus x so ito po yun 6 minus x ito Okay, and then this is still 3 meters. Then, this is 
equal to what? So, 6 minus 3 is 3. So, this is 3 minus x. And just like what we did a while ago, doon sa triangular loading, papangalanan na natin y ito. Kasi hindi natin alam kung ilan yan. Again, dahil ang kinonsider natin ay right portion by principle of transmissibility, iba na rin yung magiging direction ng positive shear dito. So, ang positive shear naman dito ay pataas, yung positive moment ay clockwise. Okay, so hatiin natin dito sa parting ito. Okay, since 2 kN per meter ito, okay, then y ito, okay, y itong kubuan na ito eh. Okay, so ilan itong intensity ngayon ng triangular loading na matitira dito? Y minus 2. Okay, and we are going to use similar triangles. So, vertical muna, no, y minus 2 divided by, okay, yung horizontal na 3 minus x, kasi yun yung triangle dito sa part na to, is equal to what? Okay, tina natin dito. Yun yung 1 divided by 3 dito. Okay, so this is 1 divided by 3. Okay, so solve muna natin yung y minus 2 is equal to what? 3 minus x over 3. So, kung kailanganin natin ng value ng y, yung mismong value ng y, then we are going to transpose it here later. Okay? So, for the meantime, hayaan muna natin tong ganito. Okay? So, let us proceed dito sa pagkuha ng shear equation. So, summation of forces along y-axis equal to 0, assume upward naman is positive kasi positive na yung or upward na yung shear dito. We have V, okay, minus, okay, yung rectangular loading muna, na. No? So, ang resultant nyan nandito. Okay, we have 2 times the quantity 6 minus X. Okay, obviously, nasaan siya? Nasa gitna siya ng 6 minus X. At ito naman, yung resultant na ito, ay ano, 1 half, base na 3 minus X, height na y minus 2 ok yung distance nya from here ay 1 third ng base na 3 minus x ok, mamaya na natin ilagay yan dyan na. so we have v minus ok, 2 times the quantity 6 minus x minus 1 half times 3 minus x times the quantity y minus 2 equal to 0, but what is y minus 2? ito po yun Okay, so transposing this two equation at uh, two terms, we have what? 2 times the quantity 6 minus x plus 1 half times 3 minus x. Okay, times y minus 2 na equal saan? 3 minus x all over 3. So, simplify muna natin. So, v is equal to what? Okay, 12 minus 2x plus 1 over 6 times 3 minus x the quantity squared simplify na natin we have 9 minus 6x plus x squared ok so v furthermore is equal to what 12 minus 2x plus 9 divided by 6 1.5 yan 6 divided by 6 is negative 1 so negative x ito ok plus x squared over 6 so finally we have what v is equal to what 12 plus 1.5 is 13.5 minus 2x plus x squared over 6. Okay, this is our shear equation. Okay, on the other hand, okay, summation of moment about 0.0 equal to 0, clockwise naman ngayon yung positive natin. Okay, so we have m. Okay. So, yung moment nito lahat positive, no? Kasi lahat sila clockwise from point O. So, we have what? Itong 2 times 6 minus x is 6 minus x all over 2 from point O. So, we have what? We have m plus 2 times 6 minus x times kalahati ng 6 minus x. Okay, gets my next guys? Plus. Okay eto ren yung 1 half times 3 minus x times y minus 2 so 1 half 
times 3 minus x times y minus 2. Hindi ko na ilalagay yung y minus 2. Ilalagay ko na itong 3 minus x over 3. And then, don't forget the moment arm. Okay? Ang moment arm natin ay 1 third ng 3 minus x. Okay? Ito ay ano? 3 minus x all over 3 din. Okay? Don't be confused about that. Pareha sila ng term. Okay? So, this is 3 minus x all over 3. Okay? So, simplify natin. Okay? By the way, equal na yan sa 0. So, what is the moment? Okay, cancel na yung 2 rito, no? Paglipat sa kabila, minus. So, negative 6 minus x, the quantity squared. Okay, minus. Kasi plus dito, no? 3 times 3 times 2 is 18. So, 1 over 18 times 3 minus x squared. Okay? So, further simplification of this one will yield to what? Okay, just check it using uh, algebra, no? So, we have what? Neg negative 37.5 plus 13.5 x minus 1.5 x squared plus x cubed over 18. Okay? So, ito po yung ating magiging moment equation dito sa span na to. And take note, okay, this is true. Okay, balik tayo rito, no? This is true if the value of x is 0 to 3 meters only. Okay? So, next. Dito tayo sa section BB. Dito sa baba, no? Ito, this is relatively much easier than the section AA. Okay? So, again, this is 6 minus x. Okay, kasi yung x is galing dun sa point A. Okay, ito yung point C, na. No? Okay. So, summation of forces, vertical equal to 0. Upward is positive. So, V minus 2 kN per meter times 6 minus x is equal to 0. So, V is equal to what? 2 times the quantity 6 minus x or V is equal to what? 12 minus... 2x. Okay? This is our shear equation. And for summation of moment about point O equal to 0, ito yon. clockwise rotation is positive, so M plus 2 times 6 minus x, ito yun, no? Times its moment arm, okay, nakalahati ng 6 minus x. Okay, so 6 minus x over 2 equal to 0. Okay, so cancel yung 2. Okay, if we simplify this, okay, this is negative of 6 minus x squared, this will become what? Negative 36 plus 12x minus x squared. Okay, so this is our moment equation. Okay, this is true if the value of x is 3 meters to 6 meters. Okay? So, let us solve for the values of shear and moment at various points. No? So, at x equals 0, what is shear? Tingin dito guys, no? So, shear equation natin. So, 0 ito, 0 ito, or negative, ah, uh, sorry, positive 13.5 minus 2 times 0 plus 0 square over 6 is equal to 13.5. Okay? For the moment, dito sa baba, no? Ito siya na, guys. So, we have negative 37.5 plus 13.5 times 0 minus 1.5 times 0 squared plus 0 cube over 18 is equal to what? Negative 37.5 Okay? At x equals 3 meters What is the value of shear? Okay, gamitin muna natin ito, ano? Okay, we have 13.5 minus 2 times 3 plus 3 squared over 
6. So we have what? 13.5 minus 6 plus, okay, this is 9 divided by 6 na 1.5. Okay? So 13.5 minus 6 is 7.5 plus 1.5. So this is equal to what? 9. Okay? So actually, or rather, Okay, tama naman, no? 13.5 minus 2x. Okay, hanapin natin yung mali natin. Dito, no? So, teka lang. Hina natin. Ito pala, negative 2x minus x, no? So, this is 3. Okay, minus 3x pala to, no? Okay, so 3 ito, no? Pasensya na po. Okay, so, 3x ito, no? So, ito ay 9. Okay, so negative 13.5 minus 9 ay 4.5 plus 1.5. This is not 9 but rather 6. Okay? So, na na. Yan. So, M is equal to what? Gamitin natin ito nandito. Negative 37.5 plus 13.5 times 3 minus 1.5 times 3 squared plus... 3 cube over 18. So, okay. Pakisimplify na lang guys, no? Uh, I think this is negative 6. Okay. So, pagdating natin dun sa x equal 6, teka lang, isingit lang natin dito. Na tayong spasyo, eh. Okay, so at x is equal to 6 meters. Okay, we have shear equals what? Ika lang, ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay, kasi valid to for 3 to 6 meters. So, 12 minus 2x. Okay, balik tayo rito. So, we have 12 minus 2 times 6. So, 12 minus 12 ay 0. Okay, and for the moment, sana man ito equal. Balik tayo rin sa baba. Okay, ito. Negative 36 minus 12x minus x squared. Okay? So, negative 36 plus 12x na 6 minus 6 squared. So, 36 ito. 72. Okay, ito. 36 din. Okay, thir negative 36 minus 36, 72. So, seven negative 72 rather to 72. So, this is 0. Okay? So, let us plot the shear diagram. When x equals 0, our shear is 13.5. Somehow like this. No? Nandito siya, 13.5. And when x equals 3 meters, meron tayong moment, uh, sh rather shear dito na 6. Okay, so, somehow dito yon. Tansyan lang natin, no? Okay, and when x equals 6, ito yon, yung shear natin ay 0. Okay, and then just observe, okay, the shear equation dun sa section AA. It is a parabola with, okay, a leading coefficient or yung coefficient na x squared ay positive. 1 over 6, so this is opening upward. Okay. Yan. Lagay lang natin ng second degree. Okay, and for the shear equation sa section BB, this is an equation of a line. So, I connect natin ito by a line. So, first degree ito. No? Okay, so this is our shear equation. And for the moment, or rather the shear diagram. No? And for the moment diagram, okay, at x equals 0, Meron tayong negative 37.5. Ayun yun actually, yun nandito sa taas. Okay? So, negative yun, no? Kasi counterclockwise yun dito, sa taas. So, we have negative 37.5. Okay, ito, check na lang guys sa calculator na, nyo, no? Okay, so, we have here negative 6. Okay, so... Negative... 6. And dun sa x equals 6, babalik tayo sa 
0. Actually, dapat bumalik talaga tayo sa 0. Okay, and if we observe the moment equation for spa, or for section AA, this is a cubic function, okay, x cubed plus 18, okay? So, if we sketch the graph of this one, okay, ito yung kanyang concavity, no? Okay, this is third degree, take note. Okay, and for Okay, moment at section BB, negative x squared. So, negative concave down. Okay? Wait lang. Yan. Okay? So, ito naman ay second degree. Okay? So, yan siya naman. Medyo pangit yung drawing ko, no? But, this is our moment diagram. Okay, so ito po yung ating shear and moment diagram para sa problem na ito. Okay. So, huwag nyo kakalimutan na lagyan ng label itong mga to. Although, kapag line naman, optional lang na ilagay ito. Okay. But for the sake of simplicity, para sa mga higher degree na curves, lagyan natin ng degree ng curve yung moment in shear, tsaka yung moment diagram. Okay? So, meron pong part 2 itong video na ito. Okay? We're going to solve various beams or various loadings. Okay? Hindi na tayo gagamit ng shear and moment equations. Tulad nito ito, ang haba-haba na ito eh. Ayan, no? Okay, so gagamit tayo ng okay, isa pang principle. Okay, na para sa akin yun yung mas madali. Okay? Kaso nga lang, ang problema don. paano pag ganito yung problem? Ito, aminin ko sa inyo, guys, no? Mahirap i-close yung moment diagram kapag hindi mo alam kung paano yung tamang approach. Pero kung alam mo yung tamang approach, okay, then you can close the moment diagram. Okay? So, stay tuned for more uploads. Okay, shoutout nga pala sa mga students ko na nag-request nung topic. Okay, especially kay Ate Kaila, no? Okay, so Okay, stay tuned for another uploads. Okay, thank you for listening, guys. Thank you.